Hey guys, it's Lindsay again. Uh, welcome to today's Poor Decision. Uh, so we actually tried this last week where uh, Jay and I Zoomed, um, or I think we FaceTimed, but we tried it and it was super cute. Um, I think we both had a Riesling um, and then you just, you missed it snowing from Ohio and it being beautiful here, but uh, the audio didn't end up recording. So we're trying again, um, but we are not trying the same wine today. But uh, yes, so I'm still in Texarkana, Texas, uh, quarantining with my family. Uh, Jay, where are you? Yeah, so uh, it is not snowing today. It's back in the 40s though, so not too happy about that. Um, I am in Ohio right now, back with uh, my family too, just chilling, um, being a back home baller. but. Excited to meet <laughs> Back to you. Okay, so today my wine is not as exciting um, because I did not want to go to the store again since I'm quarantining with both my parents, so trying to limit that. So this is all that we have left right now. Uh, I took my all my rosé back to Dallas the last time I went. And um, so I just have, you know, the, the um, I mean, this is as basic as, as you can get. Let's it's just a very good um, And so the reason why I, I don't have ample um, wine selection at my house is because uh, my parents usually don't keep a lot of alcohol at the house. Um, so Texarkana uh, is a twin city, uh, Texarkana, Texas, and Texarkana, Arkansas. And so growing up, um, my side, the Texas side, was always a dry county. Um, so, and it's only been uh, voted to be a wet county for, I think, about three years. It was after I went to college. So we're just not used to having it because you'd have to go over to the Arkansas side. So um, I don't have a lot of options, but um, my mom is the only other person in my house that drinks wine, and she doesn't do it very often, so she really just likes the sweet stuff. So I just have a Moscato, which I typically don't uh, buy for myself. I really only drink this when my mom or uh, my girlfriend really like um, Moscato. So that's what I'm drinking today. I have a question. Yes. Um, did your restaurants have alcohol? Texas ones? My grandparents? No, did your restaurants have alcohol? Here. Oh, no, not growing up. Um, and so now they're just slowly getting their licenses. But really, um, we have one brewery now. Um, and it's really cool. Um, it's called Redbone Brewery. Um, I love that place. I've only been like once or twice. Um, and then um, we have a couple of Tex-Mex restaurants um, that serve. Um, other than that, um, like even places like Chili's and things like that, it's like a hit or miss if they're they're going to um, serve you now. But yeah, so and this is also already open, and I looked up on Wine Folly, you know, the wine bible, um, and so it said that sweet white wines can stay good in the fridge for up to seven days. So still in that window, so we're good. No, I was looking at this. All right, so. <laughs> um, Let me guess, it's the Riesling? No, it's not. It's a Chardonnay. So, this is what I got uh, during Christmas time, but I wasn't able to bring it back to Dallas because I didn't want to check a bag every time. Um, so, this is one that I left here. Um, look at the name here. Um, it looks like the higher class of a wine, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> Um, I haven't looked it up, so I don't know, you know, what this retails for, but probably not that great. But um, it says the wine features aromas and flavors of yellow apple, ripe, ripe peaches, and buttered toast. So um, I've had a little bit of it, but we'll try it today here because um, it's been out for a couple days. <laughs> so I was, there, <laughs> you know, it wasn't molded or anything. So um, if you want to go ahead first, and start your uh, tasting. Okay. Yeah, since we've like started paying attention to the wines that we're buying now, um, I've noticed that a lot of Chardonnays, like the marketing on it, is yellow, and they, you know, they describe it as like buttery, and so I wonder if if that's why they often go with that for the label and the lid. 
Mm, it smells so good. Yeah, another thing that Wine Folly said um, is that with the time with it being opened, it's mostly the fruity taste that goes away. Maybe the rib. for that one. Yeah. Looks very clear. Yeah. Still wine legs. I don't know how those diminish when it oxidizes, but it smells very fruity, regardless of the. It tastes very fruity. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> I don't think you can get rid of that taste. Yeah, yeah especially with this one, because it was already super sweet. I mean, it tastes like I'm eating an apple. Nice. Put some gummy bears yeah, in there. This is sweeter than I, oh my gosh, that would be so good right now. But not sour gummy, or what did we have? Sour patch. I'm not going to do that again, I don't think. But we didn't try. Sour Skittles. Yeah, we need to try that next. The reason yeah. with the <laughs> sour gummies, they tasted good for a while, but then they got like uh, infused with the alcohol. Uh, they got really squishy and gross. So, um Oh my gosh, there's a bird right here. Okay, left. <laughs> you had no more uh, snow for you. All right, um, all right. Well, <laughs> this is from the North Coast. Um, pour it here. So you can't see inside of it. I have this one again. I was trying to find a, a glass glass, but I'll have a champagne glass. <laughs> so it's <laughs> not appropriate. But this one's definitely more yellow. Um, it tastes a little oaky, or smells oaky, which you, know, you don't get with Riesling or anything else. Yeah, so this one definitely has a longer, like the, no, what do they call it? What do we call this? Um, Whole body? Yeah, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> thank you. Viscosity. <laughs> it has a lot more body than the rest of them do. Um, I taste a lot of butter. It tastes like I'm having like movie popcorn. So if you made mm -hmm. those together, it would be really good. Or like maybe if you like the whole, like uh, Lynn's likes the, the sweet and salty, <laughs> some French fries and some, um, we used to have French fries, <laughs> here. but anyway, um, but that was some, um, mix those together would be pretty good. Maybe with chocolate, is what I was trying to say. But um, definitely a little oaky, but not overbearingly oaky, because I know some of them, um, that we've tried before it tastes like uh, what is an oak flavor or what an oak experience but um this is perfectly mm -hmm. amount so um, i do like it uh, so overall pretty good i rank this one for chardonnay wise i couldn't it's not one of those i could drink like a whole bottle of it because it would just be a lot um so but I feel like that's more Chardonnay anyway. You can this. So I'd give it a like seven and a half, seven point eight, my exact rating here. How's the barefoot? Um, see, with barefoot, I just think of it as just the, I don't know, you know, like the brand muffin of wines. So like to me, a barefoot is always the zero on a scale of one to ten, and then things are it's a zero out of one to ten but I'm just saying like uh, or a five I would say that there's a five because you go up from barefoot and then then there's just bad wine and that's just not worth buying and that's under barefoot to me because so I just say it's it surprised me with its taste so, it so. yeah I don't know yeah I like it I'm also not a Moscato person that's true you know, it all depends on what you like. But awesome. So, thanks for joining us for this poor decision. Do you think we can do like a, a high five virtually? There we go. <laughs> I like it. All right. Join us next time on Poor Decision.